Builder now gives you the option to create customized tear sheet reports. You'll be able to choose either a single security or multi-security report, as well as view it in either a landscape or portrait orientation. Creating these reports is similar to creating our other reports. You'll want to head to the report builder where I already am and then click on the create new blank custom report template and choose tear sheet. From here, you'll select next and then choose either a single security or multi-security. Single security will be a great option to get a quick overview of a fund or portfolio while multi-comparison will allow you to easily compare the differences between a few different funds or portfolios that you might have. For this first example, I'm going to choose single security here. And then I'm also going to choose to create this in a portrait orientation. Once the editor page loads, you'll see it looks very similar to our other editor pages. The main difference here being the module sizes. As you can see, they are a lot smaller, giving you the opportunity to make different customizations as well as add more modules on a page. To add those modules onto our page here, you'll want to click on this page editor and you'll see we have all the different categories here. You can also sort by the size of the module as well as look up a specific module. I'm going to start our tear sheet just by adding some few basic modules here, such as the basic info module. And then as far as performance modules, I have a few different options. One thing you'll notice is that a few of these modules appear twice on this list. So you'll see we have two periodic return, two security metrics, two cumulative returns. What this will allow you to do is select the size of the module. So some of these modules take up two spaces here, whereas some of the other ones will take up four of these spaces. I'm going to go in and just add our cumulative return chart as well as our security metrics chart here. I can further customize some of these modules by clicking on the module itself. And as you'll see, I can go in and I can reorganize the metrics that are being used. I can remove some, I can add some, or I can go in and select a different configuration here and change all of the metrics themselves to something else that I might want to highlight for a fund or portfolio. I'm happy keeping the periodic returns here. And then what I'm just going to do is I have quite a few other blank spaces to fill out. I'm going to add in a few of our allocation modules here. Similar to before, these will come in different sizes as well, ones that fill up one space or two spaces. So I'm just gonna go in and add these. And we'll finish off our allocations with the stock sector here. And I have a few blank spaces that are left. So I'll add in our top 10 holdings as well as just our performance disclosure here. Once I'm happy with how this looks, I'll want to save the tear sheet before I'm able to actually generate a report. So I'm gonna click save and then save again. From here, I'll just wanna give it a name once it has finished saving, then you'll be able to generate that report here. I'm just going to pull for the Fidelity 500 and then click next. You can edit the report title. You will want to fill out the prepared for field here. And then you can fill in any of these other pieces as well. And then just click generate and then a PDF will download. Once that PDF has finished downloading, if I go and open it, I can see that this tear sheet now reflects all the modules that I included. I'm able to see that it has included my custom colors as well as my logo on here and all of the modules have been filled out. I'm going to head back to our report builder here and then back to the main page. And I'm going to now build out one of our multi-comparison tear sheets. So similar to before, just head back to the create new tear sheet, and then I'm going to choose multi-comparison. 
And then I want to view this in a landscape orientation. So I'm going to click next here. And then similar to before, you're going to just drag and drop these modules. These modules will be a little bit different as well as the sizing is going to be a little bit different as well. And then from here, what I'm going to do is go into our performance and basic info modules. And I'm going to on this first page here, just add in our cumulative return as well as our periodic return. And I can add multiple pages to our tear sheets. So I'm going to select new page here. And then I'm going to scroll down to our allocations. And I'm going to want to add our asset allocation. And then lastly, I'm going to add our security metrics. Now this time with our security metrics, I'm not going to want to see the periodic returns. I'm actually going to edit this to show risk information for my portfolio. So I'm going to select risk info and then I'm happy with how this looks. So once again, save and we'll name this. Hit submit and then generate. And this time I'm going to generate it for a few different portfolios I have to present to a client. And then for this tear sheet, you'll see that that cumulative return now takes up the whole half of the page as well as that periodic return bar chart. And then on that second page, you'll see those asset allocation modules we inputted as well as the security metrics that we wanted to show the risk info for. If you have any questions on our report builder or our customized tear sheets, please reach out to your account manager. Thank <laughs> you.